this every day, council member. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Do it more than once. Ready one on three again, Aaron? You yeah. counting? Uh, I'll count this. We're here today uh, starting up the tunnel boring machine which you see behind me for the 2nd Avenue uh, subway. This is a tremendously exciting day for the project. It moves the project forward a whole nother step. Um, and when this project is completed in December of, of 2016, it will have immediate benefits for New York. It moves 200,000 people a day and it immediately uh, relieves the crowding on the Lexington Avenue line which has been with us for decades. Uh, everyone will appreciate this project when it's completed. The importance of this day is that we are actually now poised to, to, to go through and create the tunnels under Manhattan, under the 2nd Avenue, that will carry us to where we need to be. Uh, this machine is about two and a half blocks long. Uh, is going to move at a pace of somewhere between 40 to 60 feet a day to create the two tunnels that eventually will, will be the beginning of the 2nd Avenue subway. And I'm thrilled to be here. It shows the 2nd Avenue subway is going to be built and it's going to be built on time. And this subway not only will build and help build the economic future of our great city, it is employing roughly 16,000 people and has a commitment of over $1.4 billion in federal funding. Actually, uh, very few people would know that uh, I have named the TBM machine after my granddaughter. Her name is Adi and she's two and a half years old. And I did it because I thought that this is the true future. And she probably will get to ride the trains much more than I will. It's an investment in our great city. It's an investment in our people. And we are going to stay on this project, make sure that it's built and will be there to serve New Yorkers.